Alright, so, um, in this video, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on slippery walls. I'm basically gonna talk about almost all the slippery wall skills, such as slippery wall running, slippery lucio, slippery vertical, um, slip slap, and backwards lucio on slippery walls. But and before I get on to, like, the actual, like, the main skills, I'm gonna say a couple key tips that will help you like with almost every skill so if you are trying to learn any of these no matter which one you want to listen to these key tips so i'm going to get right onto it right now all right so the first key tip that i'm going to be talking about is like the main like the biggest thing you could remember it's that it's not very simple but so on normal walls it's easier to wall run and you don't even have to push yourself up to wall run all you have to do to wall run on normal walls is push yourself forward and you'll go forward that's because normal walls aren't pushing you down or anything. But slippery walls, you don't want to be, do that. If you're trying to go up slippery walls, which is basically what I'm going to be probably teaching you, is in, if you want to stay on slippery walls, slippery walls are constantly pushing you down. They're constant, slippery walls are constantly going to be trying to push you down and off of them. So you can't just push yourself forward. Because if you do, you'll just fall back down. So you need to be focusing on pushing yourself up the slippery walls more than pushing yourself across the slippery walls so basically okay so basically what i'm trying to say is instead of focusing on pushing yourself forward on slippery walls try to focus more on pushing yourself up the slippery walls because when you push yourself forward the slippery walls will just pull you down but if you're pushing yourself up and resisting that downward pulling you'll be able to go up them Another key tip for slippery walls is no matter what skill it is, if it's wall running, lucio, vertical, backwards lucio, slip slap, whatever. Whenever you're about to go on slippery walls, you want to go up and then hit with two hands right here and then go. So what it looks like is let's say these were normal walls and these were slippery walls. I'm going across normal walls, about to go on slippery walls. I'm going to hit with two hands to give myself a boost. And then do whatever I want with um, one or two hands. So right here, it looks like this. So right before you're about to start, on normal walls, just double hand put to get a little boost. And you, you want to do that no matter what skill. Because without it, it's a lot harder. Without that boost, it's a lot harder to go up or across the slippery walls. Alright, so now that I've stated a bunch of key tips, I'm going to get on to slippery wall running. And slippery wall running actually kind of, or it can take place anywhere across the map, but for new learners, it's best to learn it over here. But whenever you're slippery wall running, you like it's nowhere close to similar to normal wall running. Because normal wall running, you're pushing yourself forward, but slippery wall running... Since slippery walls are constantly pushing you down, you want to be pushing yourself up, which will cause you to go forward, but at least you're staying on the walls. So, if you're, like, if you're not trying to go up the wall, and you're just trying to go across it, you still want to be pushing the wall down. Because, so, look, I'm going across, and I'm not even pushing the wall forward. Because this is what it looks like whenever you push the wall forward, like this. This is what it looks like when you push the wall forward. But whenever you push it down, it causes you to go up. But on slippery walls, it doesn't really cause you to go up so much. I mean, yeah, it does. But whenever you do the right kind of movement, which is like almost a vertical kind of movement, like a circle, and you're pushing yourself up more on slippery walls, you'll go across the slippery walls. So next up is going to be vertical on slippery walls. How to vertical, basically what a vertical on slippery walls is, it looks like this. So you go up on the wall and you vertical until you get to the red walls. So how you do this, you can almost do it anywhere on the map, but how you do this is you want to do that little two hand push that I talked about in the key tips area. 
and then oh god you basically almost you kind of want to know how to vertical a little bit you don't have to be like super good at it but you just want to do whatever movement you do to go up the wall but you want to do it like two times faster and almost two times harder because slippery walls are constantly pushing you down in, instead of normal walls so you need to be focusing on pushing your hand way harder and way faster i don't know how to explain it but you do that basically so you want to do whatever your vertical motion is you just want to push the wall harder and faster for the next skill it's going to be um the next skill is going to be lucio on slippery walls and lucio is basically just the same thing as vertical going up the wall and hitting the red walls except you're using two hands and you go forward a little bit so vertical would be like right here and you go straight up but lucio would be like moving across to like over here so how you want to do lucio is like i've said basically on all my other things um you just want to use that little two hand boost to boost you almost already halfway up the slippery walls because it's a lot harder to just start slippery wall running and make it it's still pretty easy for me but it's a lot harder for people who are new so you want to do that boosting to to the point where you're already like halfway up and then once you've done that you want to do whatever motion you prefer on slippery walls like um so how i keep on saying slippery walls are way different from normal walls my motion on normal walls is this and my motion for slippery walls is this so you want to basically make up your own motion for slippery lucio because it's a completely different thing so i like to just basically push it diagonally so i'm pushing the wall behind me like this and i'm just doing it way faster and way harder and what it looks like for me whenever i do a lucio on slippery walls is i do my boost and then i just do it it's pretty easy and, you, and i'm just gonna say once you've mastered this skill um you can basically do it like anywhere you want in the map like here now i'll show some like like i'll show you the most common places where people slip slap and the first one actually takes place like right here but a lot of people slip slap right there the other slip slap is over there where i was just showing it the other one well these these aren't like the only ones that people do but these are just the main ones that people do the other one's like right over here because there's a slant where you can launch yourself up at um, another one that people do a lot is over here, over there in the stump wall, and some other people like to do it over there, by stump wall right there. But, um, this skill is going to probably, probably take the most practice, because it's like probably the most complicated and hardest to learn. So now... I'm just gonna go straight to backwards Lucio. But backwards Lucio is takes place over on this wall. Well it can take place anywhere, but um it's easiest and most people do it over here on this wall. So what you wanna do is you want to if you are doing it on this wall, I'm assuming you're right handed, but if you're not just do it the other way around. You wanna wall run until you get to like right here do two hands and do that little boost but you want to instead of pushing yourself up the wall boost you want to boost yourself backwards but make sure you're still going on slippery walls so once you've done that little boost you just want to do so unlike lucio because for lucio you want to do like a whole different motion for lucio but for backwards lucio you can do your normal backwards lucio motion except that you're pushing way harder and way faster so Mine looks like this. Oh my god, I sold. Her mine looks like this. You can see that I went from right there, somewhere around there, and then I just went back to there. And 
like I said, you can do this almost anywhere. But right there is probably the best place to learn it. And also, um, I forgot to mention, but 60 hertz or 7, 60 or 72 hertz is way easier for walls. Like I'm on 72 right now and I don't even have to like try. So the next and last skill that I'm going to be showing is going to be the slip slap. And that's what, if you're wondering what, what I'm doing, like, because once you've mastered all these skills and you know how to get all the way up slippery walls, you come to a point to where you reach these walls. And those walls that I just touched, those are called red walls, if you don't already know. But they're impossible to go on, like they're impossible to run or Lucio on. That's why people can't escape the map with those anymore. Because if you try to touch them, they're just ice. They're not like even movable. Like if I, like you heard that, it makes a slippery sound. So you can't go on them. But what people do is whenever they do make it up slippery walls, they hit off of those red walls. And it looks like this, and it sends them way farther than like if you would have just hit off normal walls. And so how people do this is let's pretend that the grass is normal walls and the trees slippery walls. So I'm going up the slippery walls and no, hold on. Let's pretend the grass is slippery walls and this is red walls. If I'm going up this um, slippery walls, I want to like jump up to red walls and then hit one hand on slippery and one hand off of tree and launch myself forward. I don't want to launch myself up because there's a slant. There's a slant so you won't go far if you go up. I just threw my controller. Ugh. But instead of trying to hit yourself up the slippery walls, because the slippery walls are a slant so they'll just push you and it won't do anything. So you want to hit yourself out so you go farther. Ooh, dug the bug. I'm gonna show like a couple of examples of me slip slapping real quick. So this is what it looks like without a slip slap. So I'm just gonna smack right normal walls. As you can see, I couldn't even get enough height to go over that branch. But if I come over here and I do the slippery walls technique that I just showed you how to do, that was horrible. Since that one was bad, I'm gonna retry that. You can see I get way more momentum enough to go over that branch which I couldn't do before and I barely even made it to the platform before but this time I almost overdid the platform and that wasn't even like a super good one that was my second try uh, people including me have made it over here to bridge before it's that crazy but a lot of people don't do it that much like a lot of people don't slip slap or don't try to master the skill of slip slapping so I recommend learning how to do that because most people don't even like consider it as a skill. But it's a major um, getaway thing for me. Alright, so I hope this video helped. I hope y'all enjoyed. And if y'all did, it would really help me if y'all liked and subbed. I don't even really care about the likes, honestly. <laughs> um, but I just kind of want subs. And I hope this video helps. And I hope that y'all enjoyed and if you like this type of content um just comment down in the section below i'll start posting tutorials more maybe but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed and thank y'all and bye